And welcome back guys, this is Keith again with WCCF Tech TV and today we're taking another look at the AMD A10 APU performance. This is the A10 79, the 7890K. There's a whole lot of those numbers in there. 7890K running at default settings for the most part. We're using an ASUS Crossblade Ranger A88X motherboard with 16 gigs of a DDR3-2133 with 2 gigabytes allocated to the iGPU. And the iGPU is actually running on the motherboard's default turbo settings, which has the iGPU running at 975 megahertz. So slightly overclocked from its default settings. But jumping in, we're going to take a start off at the medium preset quality and go down to video mode we're going to start at 1920 by 1080 with multi sampling turned off as well as vsync off multi sampling because it's an igpu why in the world are you going to try to run msaa anyway the anisotropic filtering is left at by eight which is its default setting so we're going to continue that and see kind of how the game runs as well as adjusting uh settings to see if we can get better performance and if so what kind of better performance so straight off uh 1080p medium isn't that bad on an external view of the car so, I mean, we're pulling over 30 FPS with a modern game. I mean, this came out just, well, at the time of the recording, yesterday. But changing the views to no car, you see the frame rate goes up even higher. However, where a lot of people play a game like this is from inside the car. So instantly to this mode, you see the frame rate tank quite a bit. And then you go to this, where you got the full interior mode, and it goes down by a lot. A lot, a lot. Okay, so that's where we're going to start and going down. Let's go down. Let's drop the, not the game preferences, the graphics. We're going to go down to the low preset. We're going to take a look and see if that helps us out any. And we're closer to that 30 FPS from within the car. Actually, we're hitting right at 30 FPS in the car. Uh, you go out of the car and boom, back up over 40. So, and no car being rendered, and we jump up closer to 50 FPS. Alright, so, not too bad, not too bad, but what if we take it all the way down to the very low setting? Let's, uh, let's do that. Graphics. Ultra low. Oh, phew, ultra low. It's lower than very low. Alright, look at that. Most of the detail from the interior is gone of the geometries there, but none of the shaders are going on. But it gets us closer to that 40 uh, on the inside, jumping out of the car, it gets us closer to 50. Oop, have to mess that up. No car rendered gets us well over 50 at 1080p, which is nice. I mean, it's 1080p, so it's full HD resolution, and it's closer to 60 FPS. And this is fine if you're going to play it like this, without ever looking at your car or the interior. Uh, but if you like to race this way, you're going you're gonna to want to probably drop the resolution. Let's, uh, we could drop it down to... 1600 by 900 but we're going to drop it down all the way down to um, 1280 by 720 but we're going to set it back to medium first and video mode and we're going to go down to 1920 by 7 1280 by 720 Whew, all these words all right so uh medium right there you can see we've gone up to 40 almost between 45 and 50 so that's uh that's quite nice on the interior view but let's see so what happens when you go out to look at the outside of the car jumping well over 50 fps so even with all of the details going the debris gravel even you know, the car is getting quite nasty uh let's see here get rid of the car and look at that we've gone over 70 fps that's actually pretty impressive. I know it's 720p and a lot of people out there are going to be like, oh, that's not impressive. But this is just a 9 GPU. So, woo. All right. Let's see. Let's go ahead and stop the car. Let's see how high up we can get the settings here. Uh, graphic settings? Let's, uh, let's take it up to high. Let's take it up to high and see what happens. Woo, high as a monster. It's still over 30 FPS, but we've got even more details. The lighting is a bit better. Uh, let's go outside the car. Outside the car, we go over 40. Whoa. Pay no attention to my terrible driving. Um, now, let's say... Ooh, ooh. Let's say you want to keep it at high settings, but you're a bumper cam driver. There you go. Now you're over 50 FPS. That's closer to 60. Now, of course, in the game, when you're actually playing, it is going to vary ooh, based on... Um, 
you know the track that you're on how many other cars are present and what have you so one setting one track this isn't going to be entirely representative of the whole game but it is somewhere that we can kind of swing the car around call some mayhem uh drive through some stuff let's see yeah, i didn't even know i could drive through here you know what since we've done 1080 or 1920 by 1080 we've done 1280 by 720 let's let's see if we can do let's see what it does with uh back on medium settings at 1600 by 900 because 1600 by 900 on a smaller monitor if you're like a 22 or a 23 inch monitor it's still going to be tight enough pixel density where it still looks fairly good uh staying over 30 so i mean if you're okay with 30 in a racing game which i can understand how some people could be um still got the good visuals uh, outside the car gets you 43 and going into the car gets you around 50 and like I said before me personally this is the uh, camera that I use when I play this game so this is how I would personally play it so I would consider this uh, playable I know there's a lot of people out there that would contest that but it is what it is so well with all of that uh, concluded this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we'll actually, hang on just a second while we flip through the air. Um, if APU, uh, if APUs are interesting to you whatsoever, I find them absolutely fascinating, something about them. But we did get our hands on an A12-9800 Bristol Ridge CPU, or APU rather. It's on its way in from China, so won't be here tomorrow or anything. But it will be on its way in, and we're gonna, since it is AM4, it is DDR4 capable. We're going to compare that chip to this chip in a more, uh, well, a lot of different games. So, if there's something specific you'd like to see, and you've made it this far in the video, please leave a comment in the description below, telling us what game you'd like to see uh, pitted, or if anything, we're gonna do, you know, memory scaling since it is DDR4 as well as resolution scaling we're going to do a lot of testing with it so we're going to focus primarily on gaming because it is excavator based still which is slightly better than Kaveri so it's entirely it's, it's all about the igpu and with these things so anyway with all of that out of the way this has been keith with wccf tech tv and we'll catch you in the next one